Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this week's video, we are making holiday drink recipes. We'll be making three drinks today. Bailey's hot chocolate bombs, mulled wine, and eggnog, also with Bailey's. Now, I haven't made any of these drinks before. I picked the hot chocolate bombs because I saw those last year and I really wanted to make them, but I never got around to it. And I picked the mulled wine and the eggnog because they are made using a slow cooker in an instant pot and I thought that was so interesting. So that's why I picked those. The first one we're going to start with today is the hot chocolate bombs. And I'm doing that first because I think it will be the hardest. So let's go. <laughs> in 2019, Eric Torres Garcia bought the ingredients to make a fun alternative to traditional hot chocolate mix. The video went viral on TikTok. Eric says his inspiration came from the European version of Kinder Eggs, which have a surprise inside. His brand is called Cocoa Bombs, linked below, and they recently came out with a cookbook. So for the hot chocolate bombs, we basically have to make a ganache to go inside, and then we make the outside. So I've never used melting wafers, but that's what we got, and then we're going to do follow the original recipe and use semi-sweet chocolate chips and then i also wanted to try one with white chocolate because i love white chocolate hot chocolate oh my gosh it's so good so first we're gonna go with what the recipe says and make that whole batch and then we'll come back and make one with white chocolate because i don't have enough molds to do them at the same time okay so the recipe actually says to make the like inside first but because the outside has to set before we can put the inside in it, I'm actually gonna make the outside first so that as it's cooling, I can make the inside, if that makes any sense. I've never used these, these melting wafers. Ooh, see how it goes. I just got the melting chips out and now I guess I just cover the edges. Cover the outside. Cover. Okay, I'm setting the first one in just as I do them. Oh wait, I totally missed this side. I guess it doesn't matter if they're pretty, this is the inside. It's time to break open the Baileys. <laughs> so the recipe calls for half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and half a cup of Baileys Irish cream. But it also said this only makes nine servings and I was just able to fill 12. So I'm gonna make this three fourths. You know, we'll just go for three fourths of a cup of both. And then you heat up the cream and then pour it over the chocolate chips. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, heated Bailey's chocolate chips. Okay, we have our mold. Then this is a Bailey's ganache. So we're gonna melt half of this on here and then put two halves together. It actually says to use only one teaspoon of the Bailey's ganache for each one. But I was like, that doesn't seem like enough, but I guess I'll do that. If people want more Bailey's, they can um, just add more Bailey's. So this is how much is going in each hot chocolate bomb. Oh wait, I'm gonna have way left over. I'm using a tablespoon. So this is the outside of the hot chocolate bomb. Half of it anyway, very thin. But I also like, didn't want it to be like too chocolatey, you know? Cause there's chocolate in both of these things.
So at this point in the recipe making process, I'd pretty much run out of time. I had 30 minutes to make two drinks. So I basically stop talking to the camera and just start making these drinks. Both of these recipes are just sort of put everything in a bowl, mix it together and heat it up. So that's what we'll be doing. Milk and eggs were for the wealthy in early medieval Britain, so eggnog was often used in toasts for prosperity and wealth. Hi, um, I just had to run to the store because we only had one egg and I need five, and I have 20 minutes before we're supposed to leave. I know it's the pot, okay. Anyway, we're going. Okay, so now we're on to the eggnog. I'm going, it's basically like, um, what is it called, double burner? Like you could easily do this on a stove, like where you boil water and then you put, yeah. Anyway, heaven cream. I like vanilla, so we're just gonna do a little extra. Don't tell the eggnog police. Chaotic kitchen. Two? Sure. We're just going with it. Ooh! We're going with a little extra on the milk, too. Oh God, is this all gonna fit? <laughs> Maybe I should just do two halves. Will halves fit? Okay, we're doing two halves. That's it. Ha ha! Okay, what can I put away? Heated wine is said to have come from the Romans, who would heat wine to help keep warm. Later, in the Middle Ages, Europeans would drink the heated wine with spices to promote health. Okay, now I'm gonna make the mold wine. You literally just put everything in here and turn it on for an hour. Um, we got box wine, so to measure the milliliters, I'm using this old bottle and just measuring it twice. It's fine. <laughs> So after multiple samplings and a bunch of different opinions, I have ranked and have feedback on these drinks. People loved the hot chocolate bombs. It was such a fun way to have something that is sort of common, but it was just like an exciting experience to wait for the hot chocolate bomb to come up and like open up and see what was inside. My only regret is that I didn't make more hot chocolate bombs. We had so much ganache left over, I easily could have made another round, but I actually burnt the melting chips, so I couldn't make any more casings. Um, and then I didn't have time to make the white chocolate ones, so I'm sorry I mentioned that and then didn't do it. If you want me to make a video on those, or an improvement, I actually have the video for the recipe I was following, it will probably be right here, and she does a way better job of explaining what you're supposed to do. I honestly should have watched it before I made the hot chocolate bombs, I don't know why I didn't, you should watch it. The mold wine was also a huge hit. I actually had to make two batches of it and it ended up being better when uh, served with an orange slice. That was my favorite way to have it. So you would squeeze a little bit of orange juice into it and then drop the slice into your drink. That was the best way to have it. And that one was actually really easy. So I highly recommend that as a holiday drink to serve a bunch of people. The eggnog was also so good. I'm just pretty sensitive to dairy and it is almost all dairy. It ended up tasting like melted ice cream. It was so good, especially with the Baileys in it. But I couldn't even finish my drink because I could just feel myself getting so full and the dairy starting to affect me. So I stopped drinking that, but it was still delicious. And because I made the recipe without the alcohol in it, you could easily serve it at a family party and just have the Baileys off to the side. 
where people can add their own. Making these drinks was tons of fun and I'm so happy you joined me in watching along on these recipes. Let me know if you try them for yourselves and I will see you next week. Bye.